nothing. So we shall be having that conversation later on. But let's begin with our top story this hour. And Kenya could soon join the list of African countries to criminalize homosexuality, same-sex marriages, and LGBTQ behaviors. A bill is before the National Assembly that prescribes a stiff or penalties of at least 10 years jail term and death sentence for those engaging in, among others, same-sex relationships. The move coming amidst a resistance by a section of African countries to decriminalize LGBTQ. A senior reporter, pol senior political affairs reporter Jeff Kiroi spoke to the architect of the bill and now brings us uh, some insights. Barely a month after Kenya's parliament passed a motion for the government to enforce an immediate ban on public discussion, reporting and distribution of LGBTQ content, a bill is before the National Assembly to criminalize matters pertaining LGBTQ. The Family Protection Draft Bill of 2023 by Homer Baytown MP Peter Kaluma spells stiff penalties for those engaging in homosexuality. For consensual between people who are not uh, vulnerable and who are adults, we are putting a minimum imprisonment term of 10 years. For non-consensual homosexual uh, acts, uh, we are putting death. On the 24th of February this year, the Supreme Court of Kenya ruled in favor of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer persons in their quest to officially register a non-governmental organization. The ruling that coincided with the United States of America First Lady Jill Biden's visit to Kenya caused an uproar. The United States government has been profound in defending the LGBTQ community. But even with the ties Kenya enjoys with the Western countries, specifically the United States of America, the leadership of Kenya has maintained a tough stance against LGBTQ. <laughs> Under Article 24 of the Constitution and following that strictly, if you are homosexual, Lesbian, gay, you cannot register an association. And you cannot register an association bearing any of those titles. We also have to refuse recolonization. This is another bit of it. Tying this kind of behavior with donations. Let us all rise to say no. Three East African countries are tightening the news through new laws against promotion of homosexuality. The Ugandan parliament has passed the Anti-Homosexuality Bill of 2022, which proposes a 10-year minimum jail term for any person who identifies as LGBTQ. The bill, however, has not been enacted. President Yoweri Museveni is yet to sign the bill to law, as pressure from the Western countries pile on him to reject the bill in totality. The Western countries should stop wasting the time of humanity by trying to impose their practices on other peoples. The growing resistance by a section of African countries has also seen Ghana draft a bill criminalizing LGBTQ. Similarly, the lawmakers in Ghana proposes a 10-year jail term. However, the move by the Ghanaian parliament was criticized by the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, who was in the country three weeks ago. This is an issue that we consider and I consider to be a human rights issue, and that will not change. Sentiments that largely caused uproar from a section of members of parliament. Bill will be passed. This is the way to His Excellency the President. There is no way he can intervene. In Kenya, the bill will be submitted to the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee in Parliament for pre-publication before Kenyans are invited to give views. The bill seemingly uniting two sides of majority and the minority in the August House. This is a bill we are going to pass and it will become law without debate. And I can tell you that I'm very grateful the President is supporting they have said so in public. The deputy president and the executive are supportive. But I can tell you, even if they were not to support, the legislative authority of the state is vested in parliament. 
can return to parliament, we will still have the number to pass it because it is about our society. It is not about another country. Jeff, Kirui, KTN News. The death toll from last night.